Hello and welcome back to the channel, Torque Drift Tuesday here on the channel. So make sure you guys follow me on all social media. Let's get to the episode. So we're here for another Torque Drift Tuesday episode. I know you guys were here if you guys watched the Halloween special because no, we did open up 20 plus Halloween crates. So, with that, we did get the you know custom wheels in the back. We did get the spider wheels. So, I was trying to adjust them last episode. I couldn't get them to adjust correctly, and I don't know if it was because they don't adjust, but I still can't figure out how to get them to adjust profile so sadly I can't adjust my profile or my alloy width in the back but we're gonna run them on there anyways we're gonna run the 21s in the back with those spider wheels so we are just gonna be taking the Z out we did actually unlock in the crates a pro V8 so what I wanted to do is I want to see the difference between what I have in there now which is the RB26 and the LS. So we lose a little bit of power, but it's actually lighter. The torque goes down some as well. But is it better in the long run? So we're going to go take the car out and rip the RB26 and then swap in the LS and see what the biggest difference is and how it really handles. So we're going to go into the FD special with it. 937 horsepower in the Z. I think the next episode is going to be doing a full livery on this Z because, you know, we got to get something on it. It's definitely uh, a little bit bare. So we're going to need to do a full livery on that. So I believe the next episode here on Torque Drift will be with a making the livery on the Z. I don't think we're going to find anybody. It's sad. I would like to go toe to toe with somebody. Or maybe I'm having connection issues because it's not even connecting correctly. Hmm. Rip fail on that one. I may be having some internet issues or there might be a server glitch going on. So we're just going to go practice and we're going to go rip the car and we're going to see which one, how it handles better or worse with different motors. And we're going to go to a track that I know and love and that is the tunnel edge section of Hakone so we're gonna go and see what we can come out with with the Z RB26 kick it in we're definitely still scraping oh it's kind of over oscillated my controls there Could not fully extend that run. I probably should have been in fourth. Kicking into fourth gear. Oh, dragging back bumper on the end of that run. So not a terrible run. Um, 89, it's still nowhere near as good as it should be. So we're going to try this again just to get a good base number with the RB26. I'm going to fourth this time. I missed that clip, but it's okay. We're going to hopefully not over oscillate ourselves there. There we go. We should have the power and the speed and the handbrake to join all of this together. This is a much better run now. And this is where I want to be for a good full on test with this RB26 much better up in the hundreds so we're looking at about 144 okay not bad so let's take a look back to the lobby gotta get the uh, keyboard out and we're gonna switch to the LS and see what the biggest difference is because I know I used to run LS in some cars then I switched to the RB26 but since we have the motor 
let's do a full on comparison right now. So let's put in the stroked LS1. It definitely changes the weight a little bit, changes the power and the torque because that RB26 is much torquier. Oh, we got some new things. We got Grid Life, Gingerman, or oh, we got Tunnel Edge. So let's hop into Tunnel Edge and see if we can find somebody to go against and we can also get a good basis on the LS and actually throw down a chase maybe. Maybe that's why we couldn't connect before. And that's no probe. It's just saying no for today. So, let's go back to practice. So we were at about 146, or 144, 145 was our best. The first one was like 89. So, I'm gonna do two runs again. Did I pick the right one? Ugh. Rip, fail, too far back. So if you guys are still enjoying the Torque Drift episodes, let me know down in the comment section down below. What do you guys prefer? Do you guys prefer RB26 or LS? So we definitely have much different sound. Fourth, oh, fourth gear kick. So, off the rip, I can't really tell too much of a difference other than, of course, there's a bit of a power difference and a, a torque, but right there you can tell a little bit of a difference because when we get off the gas and try to get back on, the sp spool up seems to be a little bit slower, but we're in the hundreds. So, I'm going to give it another shot. I think I definitely like how the feel of the RB26, but I feel like this LS could potentially just do as much justice as that RB. If we actually uh, initiate correctly, which we did that time. Oh, rip into the wall, so this is not gonna be a justifiable run, but the power is definitely different. And trying to pull that long sweep is definitely harder. And I believe we do have the oh, oh we almost slipped it. So we're gonna give it one more shot with the LS, and I believe this thing is turboed or is it supercharged? So I can't really remember what I had in here. If it is definitely supercharged, we're gonna leave the LS in because who has a supercharged RB? I mean that's just that's just straight up blasphemy. A little bit of a miss there. I kind of a uh, little bit of a miss throw there. So we can manage it with the LS. We may need some more parts though to maybe make it better or change up grip levels because of that. But I am liking the power on command of the LS. We're gonna have to adjust our suspension and raise this car up a little bit because we're, we're dragging a little bit so let's go see what new parts we can actually buy for the car and do some parts buying for this car and maybe run it on the LS and see what we can do with this car in an LS state so let me know down in the comments which do you prefer LS RB26 because we are actually running turbo so we are running a turbo so 18 psi we're gonna go back and we're gonna throw our wheels back on that we have we're gonna extend that out bump it up to the 30 profile there we go yes confirm so we're gonna put those back on we do need some more upgrade parts on that aspect suspension uh, we need some upgrades parts there and then in the rear we do need some upgrades so let's go see what parts we can buy if there's anything we can actually buy that can upgrade well, we can upgrade our exhaust in our ECU we can throw in a supercharger 
so the torque RPM is a lot lower so I think we're gonna buy the supercharger I think we're gonna supercharge this car and then we're gonna buy the link ECU and the exhaust so with that being said oh do we have money oh we don't have money to buy the intercooler though I think we have some parts we can sell in order to uh, get enough money to buy that intercooler I'm gonna sell all of the old suspension that we did win from the crates and then let's go back actually let's see what other interesting so no we don't have anything in there so I was looking at possibly getting wheels too but I don't think we're gonna have enough money to buy some wheels so let's go back to parts and we'll buy the intercooler so we're gonna do this uh what oh just shy yeah whatever we'll buy it so we got a bunch of parts that are gonna be coming in here in the next few days hours and whatnot so we're gonna be putting those on the car in the next episode as well as possibly doing a full livery on the car I don't see any cool pro wheels that I'm fiending to have although I do love the Kazi wheels but that's for a or the Kanzi wheels or however it's pronounced so that's gonna be for another episode so we do have parts coming so you know there's gonna be more parts getting on this Z so make sure you guys follow me on all social media all of which are in the description box below and as always I thank you guys for coming back and watching I'm Evil Rabbit I'll see you guys on the track